Hello everyone, and in this tutorial we'll be making something that looks like this. What I really hate in YouTube tutorials is that you never know when does the actual tutorial start. Therefore, I've created this visual YouTube menu where I have to put your timeline on any of the lines and you'll jump straight to the chapter. What we'll be trying to recreate is the effect that Roger van der Zwag is using in his videos. And this is how it looks. It turned out I wasn't the only one wondering how it's made. And after a couple of minutes of research, several hours of trials and errors, and uh, several days of render, I finally came to the conclusion that we can recreate something similar using Adobe After Effects and its native plugin called Echo. Hmm, let's travel back in time and recreate something most of you have experienced already. Furthermore, with the help of this effect, we can restore some things. Look at this poor abandoned wall. Let's just build it back. Mm. To create this effect, you'll need a camera mounted on a tripod, a colorful solid object and Adobe After Effects. We import our footage, we duplicate the layer. On the duplicated layer, we mask out an object we want to create a trail. Then, we animate the mask pass manually to follow the object. While masking, you have to make sure you don't accidentally put any moving parts inside of the mask, like my legs, for example. After you've finished rotoscoping, disable the layer beneath to check if your mask is staying on the object. If it does, apply an effect called Echo to the masked layer. Change Echo Operator to Composite in front, Echo Time to 0.01 .01, and Number of Echoes to 1000. It will take a while to pre-render, and that's it. Alright, open up a new project, then import your footage, then drag and drop it on the composition icon. This will create a new composition. Go to Composite, Composition Settings. Change the composition name to the name that suits you and hit OK. Press 0 on your numpad key to preview the video. Select the layer on the timeline and press Ctrl D on Windows and Command D on Mac to duplicate it. Pick the layer below, hit Enter and rename it to Backplate. Pick the layer above, hit Enter again and rename it to Met. Click those speakers to disable audio, we won't need it. In the Tool panel, press on the Pen tool. Zoom in using the mouse wheel to the object we are going to select and then using the left mouse button, click to create a mask point. Click again, and again, and then close it, creating a rectangular mask. Go to the timeline and click an arrow on the layer mat. And click an arrow near masks, mask 1, and then click on a stopwatch on a mask path. That will automatically create keyframes whenever we move our mask. Oh, here's the most fun part called rotoscoping. Here you'll just have to manually move your mask, adjust it and scale so it will match your object according with the timeline. Make sure the mask covers your object 
and doesn't actually touch any of the moving parts, in this case the person's legs. However, all the objects in the background are static and therefore mask can be above the object. Let's speed up this process a little bit. After finishing with your mask, go to the timeline and disable the visibility of the backplate by clicking an eye icon. Click this button right here to disable the mask and scroll through the timeline to see if the mask stays on the object. If it does, click an eye icon on the backplate again to enable it. Then go to the Effects menu on the right side of the screen and type in Echo. Choose Echo effect and drag and drop it on the matte layer on the timeline. In Effect Controls panel, change Echo Operator to Composite in front and change number of echoes to 100. Almost there, just need a little bit of tweaking. To make this effect look better, change echo time to minus 0.01. Now we just need to increase the number of echoes to 1000. Depending on the computer you are using, it may take a while to pre-render. And now press 0 on your numpad to load a preview. After pre-rendering, press 0 again to play. Well, that's it. Let's look at a better quality. Also, for a faster workflow, you can combine this effect with Mocha Tracking. To conclude, I just wanted to note that choosing a red yoga mat wasn't the best option. To achieve the greatest result with this effect, you'll need something like a wooden plank painted or covered with paper. Furthermore, the footage has to be really stable and filmed on the tripod. Therefore, I think giving it to my brother wasn't such a good idea. As a side note, I want to say that I did not contact Roger and I'm not sure if it's the proper way that he is doing this effect. In any case, I suggest you subscribe to his Instagram channel. He's got a lot of amazing visual effects and I really love them. Otherwise, I wouldn't make this video in the first place. Thank you for watching.
Слушай, ну в принципе тут нормальное место можно снять. Вы кто такие? Я вас не звал. Идите нахуй. Так. 